Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video, we are going to be ranking all eight, yeah, that's a lot, over flood cars in GTA Online. This is a new series that we're starting where we're going to be trying to rank every single car brand in GTA Online's cars. We started with Cheval, which only had five, if I remember correctly, and now we're on to Overflood, which only has eight, but that's, hey, that's an increase. You know, we got we got eight cars to rank in today's video, so that's, that's something at least. But yeah, we're pretty much, uh, realistically, whenever I do these, like, ranking all videos, I pretty much just go off of how much I like them and not really just one sp specific thing like performance or anything like that. Uh, it's not, they're not based off of that. It's just my personal opinions on if I like them or not. So without further ado, let's get right into it uh, with number eight, the worst overflood vehicle in the game. And that goes to the Tyrant. Um, for those who don't know, overflood is like what everybody thought it was supposed to be Koenigsegg because there's a lot of Koenigseggs in the overflood class, but then there's like SSCs in the class. There's weird other one-off cars and this is one of those it's a one-off car made by some weird company i don't know them but it doesn't look good it looks ridiculously obese that's what it's like a lizzo car and on top of that overflood has pretty much all just supercars and i think it has one let me look real quick yeah one sports car in it as well so they have really cool cars is what i'm trying to say and the tyrant just unfortunately falls very very flat on its face it's not good looking it's very very wide a very heavy car its performance is one of the worst in the freaking class its performance is useless you might as well freaking hop on a dog's back and use that as transportation because it's it's, it's not it's not it's just not worth your money the tyrant is just not worth your money it's the worst overflood car and in my opinion honestly one of the worst supercars in the entire game seventh place is such a disappointment because when it came out well not when it came out but when it was released revealed is the word i was looking for <laughs> revealed i was super excited but then when it was actually released into the game we could actually use it i was so disappointed it's the entity xxr the entity xxr is so like was gonna be so cool it's based off of a koenigsegg Gera, and i love koenigseggs i love them so much okay the i don't i'm not a hypercar guy at all i'm not even really a supercar guy but when it comes to koenigsegg i i fold i fold under pressure they are such good looking cars but the entity xxr is just boring it's just it's not only is it boring in terms of its performance it's got a lot of handling flags on it so it's very very slow but it's also boring off of its looks which is surprising because it's based off of a koenigsegg Gera. how do you mess that up koenigsegg Geros are absolutely gorgeous cars how do you make this car and have it be like just not that gorgeous i don't get it i don't get it gta sick <laughs> hate that word but sixth place is going to a the newest supercar in the game and it was put in the overflood class the pipistrello the pipistrello you know let me let, let me let me tell you guys a little something i don't i'm not up to date with gta's performances okay I, mean, I don't know if this is the fastest supercar in the game now i don't i don't know i don't really care though because even when cars are stupidly fast in this game like the emiris for example just because it's fast it doesn't mean that i'm automatically gonna like it and it's exactly the same with the pipistrello i don't know if it's fast or not i don't really care though because i don't really i mean i, I don't like it's it looks, it doesn't look that good. It just looks boring. And then again, it's this is a, supposed to be a Koenigsegg class, and this is clearly not based off of a Koenigsegg. I don't know what it's based off of, but it's just not that good. It's just not a cool car. It's not a car that I'm fiending to go out and buy. I do own one in GTA, of course, because I own pretty much every supercar in GTA at this point, but it's not a car I drive. It's not a car I have my mechanic deliver to me. It's just, it's just, you know, it just makes me want to go fifth place however is going to the only sports car in the entire overflood class every other car is a supercar but it is the amorgon the amorgon is actually really good in terms of its performance it's a decent option is it top five no but it is is it top 10 yeah it's a uh, it's a top 10 you know contender on some tracks not on all tracks but on some tracks yeah a, a, a morgan is not a horrible uh, uh, a choice the only downside is again it's looks i don't get it i don't get it why how are you messing up so much there gta how are you making these cars look just so freaking bad also i think this one's based off of like a noble or is it a gumpert is it a gumpert it might be a gumpert i actually actually i think but it's based off of another really weird car brand that i've like never heard of before and um it's just not just not that good <laughs> everything about it is kind of weird looking it looks like a car that should just be like a like a like a tuner car or something Okay, we take a massive shift though, because number four is going to the Zeno, and the Zeno is actually a car that I think is cool and I enjoy driving. 
Well, I enjoy driving it when I'm not driving over curbs, I should say, because for some reason the Xeno does not like curbs. If it tries going over a curb, it'll fly into outer space. It's like the freaking Apollo 11 space crew. This thing is, is ridiculous when it touches a curb. It doesn't like them, but it's gorgeous looking. It's based off of an SSC Tuatara, I believe, and those are pretty cool cars. One of the, I think SSC Tuataras, didn't they have like the top speed land record for a while there, I think? But either way, um, yeah, no, it's a cool looking car. It's pretty decently quick for the class. Is it worth all the money? No, and it is kind of just another. It kind of looks like a, this is gonna sound really wild, but it kind of looks like a Hot Wheels car. If you ask me, like it looks like a car you'd see in a Hot Wheels game. Um, and so its, it's looks are definitely not the best in the Overflood class, but it's 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 decent. You know, I, I do I'm, I don't hate it, which is a lot more than what I could say for the other four cars. Third place, the bronze medal, the third best overflood car in the game, in my opinion, is going to the Autark. The Autark is a very old one. I think this is one of one of the oldest cl cars in the class, actually. I think it came out around the same time as the Wagner. I remember when this car came out with around the same time as the Wagner again, and people were trying to argue whether or not the Wagner or the Autark were, was the better car, even though clearly the Wagner was. E but either way, the Autark is still a really cool car. I think it's, again, based off of some sort of SSC. I don't know the name of it, but I think it's based off of an SSC. And it's actually a really cool looking car. It does look like a car you would see in Split Second, the video game, but, or like Burnout or something like that. But it's a gorgeous, it's, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It's a weird, like, combination of, like, an LMP1 car and an F1 car, you know? It's, like, a weird combo between those. Uh, it is decently quick in terms of its performance, by the way. It's relatively cheap, too, for a supercar. Well, I wouldn't say it's cheap. It's, like, $2 million, I think, so definitely not cheap. But it's not bad. It's a not bad car. I, I like the Autark. I think it deserves third place. Second place, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, it probably doesn't deserve second place, <laughs> okay? It, it, it realistically just does not deserve second place, but it is the Entity MT, which is based off of a Koenigsegg Yesco. Um, yeah, again, you know how I said that Koenigsegg is, like, gorgeous in my opinion? I think they nailed it with the design on the Yesco, and I think GTA got very, very close to the Yesco's design with the Entity MT, and so the only reason why it's here at second place is because I think the Entity MT is absolutely gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous car. It has actually a pretty decent customization too, so you can make it look like a regular Yesco or a Yesco Absolute or whatever you want to do with it. It is really, really just cool looking. In terms of its performance, however, it's unfortunately very, very bad. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Entity XXR, actually, in terms of its performance. I actually think what they probably did was just took the Entity XXR and just put a new body on it. I think that's probably what they did for the Entity MT. But either way, it is unbelievably cool. I will always own one just because of its looks. But if you guys know the process of elimination and you know overflood cars in GTA Online, then you know that that means, number one, the best overflood car in the game, in my opinion, is the Entity XF. The Entity XF is truly, without a doubt in my mind, the best overflood vehicle. It is one of the best supercars in the game, in my opinion. And yes, that is 100% my nostalgia talking. I love this car it is a 2013 og vehicle and god i have so many good memories with this thing it looks incredible it was cheaper than the adder but for some reason everybody thought the adder was faster in a track just because the adder had a faster top speed than the ntxf but what they didn't account for was the traction loss that the adder had because it didn't have a spoiler whereas the entity mtxf had a spoiler option so you could put a spoiler on it and gain traction and so the entity xf was so much faster but nobody knew that so i bought myself an ntxf and i was winning race after race after race after race because everybody else was driving a stupid adder it was so freaking cool man i freaking love the entity xf so much i will ne there will never be a time in gta's history if they for some reason decide hey you know what you can only own one garage now i would still have an entity xf because that's how much this car means to me it is a beast i love it it'll always be number one in the overflood class but ladies and gentlemen, that is late. Oh God, did you just hear that? Okay, take two, partner. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video, ranking all eight overflood cars in GTA Online from worst to best. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like deal. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Of course, let me know what car brand you'd want me to see do in GTA Online and rank all those. Uh, I Next. I don't know what I was, I don't, I forget, lost my train of thought totally there, but either way, yeah, let me know, and I want to apologize really quick, because I haven't uploaded on this channel in probably, like, five days, uh, for those who don't know, I, this is not my only channel, it's actually not even close to my only channel, my main channel is my, my name, Mark Roden, that is my real channel, I have, like, 112,000 subscribers on there, it's my main channel, I always try my best to upload on that as, as fast as possible, so, what that means, though, is when I have a big project that I'm doing, unfortunately, 
I will not be making videos for like this channel and I have even another channel by the way uh, for or that other channel because I want to work on the big project instead and that's what was happening I was working on a big project so I apologize but I had to take a couple I had to take a, I had to take you know a couple days off I'm sorry all right I'm sorry but either way I hope you guys enjoyed that's Batania and have a nice night